tell us about the, the visual language, the, how you chose to tell the story. Okay. Um, as usual, I'm making a film about something you can't see. Um, so I keep choosing films that you can't see anything. Um, so you have to spend, <laughs> you, you have to, you know, like, what are your films? DNA, you know, hello. Um, you get those little squiggly lines on screens, that's it. So um, a lot of thought, uh, I'm very fortunate I work with a great cinematographer who also happens to be my husband. Um, he shoots feature films normally um, and, uh, and I get him to do my tacos because I drag him. And, um, and we spent a lot of time just thinking about the, the visual language. And the language was of replication, obviously. There's lots of lots of images of replication, of uh, things being uh, cloudy and becoming clear, indistinct becoming distinct. Um, there was a lot of, obviously, time lapse, playing with time, uh, using the clocks, because you kind of need to use the clocks. Um, we had worked with Roger's team to get the pictures of, of um, Tetrahymena, the little, the little creatures that Liz did her study on. It's really hard to find. Nobody's got them anymore. I have to grow them. They went and grew them for me so we could get the little shots of Tetrahymena. And dear Scott, you know, I spent, I think, weeks growing those just so I could get a little shot of these things going like this. Um, you know, it's like you go, those things are really hard because no one's using them anymore. Um, so the visual language was really trying to be energised trying to be uh, poetic and elegant and visually pretty uh, because it's hard, it's dense science and if you just make it as a piece of um, information, I think we would have all gone to sleep and be curled up on the floor going, please, you know. Um, it's really trying to get it pacey. I try and have surprises, like lobsters. You know, I love lobsters. You know, I, I, my, my party trick for a while was, did you know that lobsters don't show any visible signs of ageing? And everybody would go, <laughs> uh, It was really good. Um, and uh, we had to check that very carefully. Um, and I have friends of mine that go fishing for lobsters, going, oh, rubbish. And we have all sorts of arguments about lobsters and how you, how you determine if something ages or not. So there was a lot of um, work on those sorts of things, trying to make it... Um, have some surprises, so when you think you know what's coming, just throwing something new at you, hopefully just to wake you up again, so that it's not wall-to-wall -wall data. 